Kelvin, after weeks and weeks of wild social media speculation, the Princess of Wales has been cited on a visit to a farm shop over the weekend. And after almost 24 hours of more speculation, the video proof has finally emerged. I'm going to be talking about this a little bit later on. I think that the palace and the PR gurus have not just failed to protect Kate, I think they've driven a massive bus over her, your views. I, well, I feel desperately sorry for Kate. The idea that she has had a very, very serious operation and can't recover in peace because something has gone totally wrong. I ask um, your viewers to look at this video or this still uh, which is making its way around the media right now, and compare it to the what turned out to be, a, a, at its minimum, a Photoshop picture of only two mm -hmm. weeks ago. Right? Honestly, Kate looks a lot, lot thinner in the picture taken at the farm shop outside Windsor than she did in that Photoshop. So you have to say to yourself, how did this happen? What is the point of having huge comms teams? Oh, what is the point shocking. of... Who, who is protecting a woman who is not very well? When you have an operation, I'm mm. guessing at what this is, as serious as she has taken, she needs to be really you know, looked yeah. after her. Exactly. And for a lot of people who are saying, oh, you shouldn't even be talking about this, I would just like to point out, I did one segment on Kate when the initial Photoshop scandal thing yep. was happening, yep. and I left it at that, because I was looking at this vacuum that was being created, and my anger now is, is singularly focused on the people in the comms teams in the palace who have just allowed this complete dumpster fire of a situation to occur whilst Kate has clearly been very ill, clearly been suffering, and I just think right. it's been an absolute okay. shocker, finally. Okay. okay. The issue is, was it the comms team? After all, they're there to serve, right? They're not the principals. Mm. Or is it, is it slightly higher than that? I cannot believe that they, that they would have said, do this. I just don't believe that. Oh. So I, I, I feel desperate for her. Yeah. And anybody who sees this photo... Mm. And, and the problem now is the conspiracies will never end. We are this never going saying. to They've end. let genies out of the bottles that will not be put back in, and it was because the comms was so bad, in my view. But, look, Kelvin, thank you very, very much. That's Kelvin McKenzie. That is the former editor of The Sun.